Hey everyone, how's it going? So what am I working on now? Well, I got a 2017 Subaru Outback and the customer dropped it off with us and said there's a shutter in the vehicle and he believes it's the transmission. Now this thing has 174,500 miles on it. And this has a CVT transmission. And honestly, I, I do not like CVTs, I can't stand them. However, Subaru probably has the best CVT out there. They actually make them shift, or feel like they shift like a regular transmission. Um, anyway, I've driven this thing, I've put about 10 miles on it, and I don't feel a shudder. However, I do feel something else. One thing I, I can actually hear when I'm driving this is it's got a rear wheel bearing going bad. I know you probably cannot hear it in the video. Um, and I believe it's a right rear because as I rock the car one way or the other, I can hear it slightly change. Usually if you're going down the road and let's say you're going, you know, 30, 40, 50, whatever mile an hour that creates the noise or where you can hear the noise, if you sway the car one way and then sway it the other, and the noise changes, that'll usually help you determine which side it is, but I've been fooled by that in the past. So I'm gonna pull up to my testing grounds in the Galapagos Islands, and uh, what I'm gonna do is, there's another noise too that I want you to hear that, and I'm wondering if the other noise that I'm hearing is what the customer is actually complaining about. And you'll understand once you hear it. I, I should be able to make that so you can hear that because it's pretty pronounced. So anyway, I am coming up on it shortly here, and we're just going to go in the lot. I'm just driving down the uh, airport runway here until I get to where I got to go. Almost there, almost there. All right, we are here. But as far as a transmission shutter, I don't feel anything. It doesn't have any lights on, nothing like that. It, sh it drives fine. So, you know exactly what's going on. Like I said, maybe they're hearing this noise that I'm about to show you or demonstrate for you. Maybe they're hearing that, and that's what makes them think it's a transmission. But I'm going to have to get it on a lift regardless, just so I can inspect it. All right, so here we are in the parking lot. So now what I'm going to do is, let me see if it does it left. I didn't try it left. Okay. Did you hear that? Cut it all the way right. Hear that? What is that? What is that noise? If you notice, it kind of goes, it, it, it speeds up with the vehicle. So. It should do it around this turn, too. Very lightly, very lightly. You have to be on a sharp turn to hear it. Yeah. So if I do a circle, I should be able to do it. I hear it on both sides. Okay. So what is that? That's a drive axle. That's a CV joint that's worn out. You don't necessarily have to have a, a cracked boot to have a worn joint. Um, joints do wear out. So, but I mean, I could have cracked boots. I don't know. Ripped boots. We're going to find out, though. Let me um, get back over to the States and let me get back into the shop. And uh, let's take a look at these front CV axles. But like I said, I've driven this thing a good 10 miles, and I don't feel anything with the transmission, so I'm not quite sure what he's talking about. Might have to, after I inspect it, I'm going to call the customer and ask him to describe exactly what's going on. Maybe that can give me a better idea. But just wondering if that noise is what they're complaining about. You heard that? Kick, kick, kick. So, all right, let's get back to the shop. Oh, and real quick... I'm on a nicely paved road. I'm going about 40, but I don't know if you can hear it. It almost sounds like a propeller airplane out in the distance. I'm going to sway the car. I 
going to be willing to bet it's both. Both sides. But let's get back to the shop. All right, so we're up in the air now. And let me just show you. The, the boots are not torn. And let me shine a little light on the subject. But there's your axle. That's the right side. Here's the left side. And the boots are not torn. However, if I grab the shaft here, I can actually feel play if I try to rotate I feel play in the actual joint itself there's nothing I can make it so you, no way I can make it so you could see this and then if I actually put my hand on the wheel here to move the wheel I can feel slop in between the joint and the axle so yeah I'm confident that these front CV axles are shot 175,000 miles, okay, it's to be expected. Um, now I have nobody here to assist me, but I'm pretty confident both rear wheel bearings are shot. Um, I don't really feel much on this side. However, on this side, I can almost feel a slight roughness to it. Almost, hard to tell. But you gotta remember something. When a vehicle's on the ground, you have, well, if the thing weighs Let's just say it weighs 4,000 pounds. You have maybe you know 800 pounds on each rear wheel, and uh, you know the remainder on the front wheels. So what would that be? Uh, 60, 2,400 pounds on the on each on the front wheels, the pair. So um, yeah. So I'm confident we got a wheel bearing issue. Hopefully, I can get somebody here soon, and then we can drive it on the lift, and we can listen to the noise. But I don't feel a problem with the transmission. I don't feel anything. So. All right, I guess we're gonna leave it at that for right now. So let's uh, see where this goes and then we'll finish the video up. Okay, so we got Rob up in the vehicle. Gonna spin it up to about 40 miles an hour-ish. Let's see what we can hear. Hey, Rob. Ooh. Definitely hear it here. Kicking the trash control on? Shouldn't, but try it again. Oh, this one was definitely making noise. I don't know why it tripped something. Hang on a second. All right. Everything sounds normal up there. I definitely hear noise here. But this side is the loudest. You hear it whirring on this side? You can definitely hear it louder on this side than that side, but I do hear it on that side. So I'm gonna recommend both wheel bearings on this. Try cutting the wheels all the way one way. All right, straighten it out. Sorry if you got a mouthful of me. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Obviously under load, you can't hear the axles, but under a load, like in a parking lot there, you heard them pretty loud and clear. All right, let me get Rob out of here. Now the reason that the ABS or whatever the brakes kicked in is because it has the uh, adaptive cruise control where it'll slow you down if you're too close to something. And it was seeing the wall behind me. So he had to shut it off in order to get it to accelerate. And he kept on thinking there was something in front of it or it was gonna run into something. So that's why it did that initially. Um, all right, so that's pretty much it. So we gotta see what the customer wants to do. But at this point, it's gonna be a pair of front axles and two rear hub bearings. I believe, I'm not positive, that that noise that he was complaining about or the shuddering sensation was probably the front axles because I didn't, wasn't able to verify it. But maybe, maybe there is something else. I just don't know. I just was not able to verify it. At least I know that those are four issues 
left front, right front, left rear, right rear, um, that are problems. So gonna have to address those first and go from there, see what they wanna do. All right, well, hopefully you got something out of this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you could, please subscribe. All right, guys, have a great day. Keep wrenching.